NBA basketball. Tonight, we'll see the Washington Wizards as they play against the New Jersey Nets. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And, of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. Here's Stackhouse, and he gets the bucket. Stackhouse has got the opening field goal of the game for the Wizards. As this new season progresses, Clark, is it too soon to label any team the favorite to win it all? I always hesitate to start labeling favorites at this juncture, but there obviously are teams that jump out at you. Um, but there's still a long way to go, and I like to allow things to play out just a little more before I start locking in the favorite. And here is Hughes following the three-pointer by Jason Kidd. The pass to Brock. Jordan inside. Pass to Hughes. Four on the clock. Lets it fly from 18. A rebound by the Nets. They defeated Indiana in their last game. Well, it helps when your opponent makes that many mistakes. I thought that was the story of the game. Yeah, I think that was a big part of it for sure, as it is any time you make a bunch of mistakes. All they had to do was follow their game plan, and that's exactly what they did. Kid with the bucket. And Kid using that size well inside. Fantastic with the read of the D there and exploiting the weakness. Here's Hughes. Wizards passing it around to the left side wing. Fades, and the shot is good. Stackhouse has got his second basket of the night. Now Jefferson. Outside kid. It's rebounded by Jordan. The Wizards have gone two or three here to start out the game. Passes it to Hughes. Back to Jordan. And Jason Kidd picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. New Jersey on D. Jordan kicks to Thomas. Pass to Stackhouse. Shot clock at six. There's the triple. Kid grabs the board. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter, and they pick up two. One of the most impressive things about Jason Kidd at his position is his size and strength, which is how he's able to create for others, but also convert through contact. Here's Hughes. Outside, Jordan. There's the screen. Shot, high post. Green for two points. An effective score from the in-between area of the court. Jordan doing his thing. Outside, kid. Martin's in the post. He's covered by Brown, and it's Martin missing. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be, because he is so strong in the paint. And out of bounds as New Jersey gains possession. You know, that's just sloppy basketball giving away a possession. No real reason for that turnover. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Kittles passes to Kidd. Shoots the three. Washington with the rebound. Their last game, a win against Boston. Looking to carry it into this one. In that one, they owned the backboards. Most of the second chance opportunities went to them. Plenty of heart and hustle in that regard. I mean, they made sure to hit the glass hard and off. Washington shooting their first free throws of the game. And last season, 77% from the line. They could usually get the job done there. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about shooting their two. areas of success last season, free throw shooting. That one is off. 
Yeah, you can't really have any qualms with Jerry Stackhouse's energy. I mean, he plays with a lot of intensity, which is contagious for his team, and sometimes that can be a difference maker out there. Lou, he's checked in for Michael Jordan. Rodgers checked in for the Nets. That one drops. He ties it up. New Jersey has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Kittles passes to Martin. Kicks it to Jefferson. Trying to find Martin. He's got it now. Six to shoot. Here's Matumbo and block. That one goes careening off the glass. Stackhouse against Jefferson. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Or New Jersey, they've gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. There's the pass to Kittles. Back to Jefferson. Outside, Mark. Pass to Kittles. Over Hughes. And the Nets miss again. Here's Washington. Passes it to Lou. They set the pick. Stackhouse with it. Dikembe Mutombo pulls it in. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. And Rodney Rogers with the slam. Great dime that time from Jefferson, a swing man who knows how to find his open teammates, too. So it's the Wizards now after the basket by New Jersey. Here's Stackhouse. The Wizards with another miss. The Nets with the lead. 44 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Outside Jefferson. Over Lou. Jefferson's shot is off. Washington has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Pass to Hughes. To the paint. Stolen by Mark. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. And finished off by Martin. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Guys, I tell you, there are assists, and then there are delicious dimes. This was the last. And we reached the end of the first quarter. Nets lead by four. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And looking at what we've seen so far from the Nets, what do you guys think? You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. Washington with the ball, following the miss by Jason Kidd. That is good. And the Nets' lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from Leighton. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Here is Rodgers. A 14-point game for him in the win against Indiana. Kid, good. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now, here is Jordan. Last game we saw him score 14. The pass to Jeffers. Here's Leitner. Over Scalabrini. That's in, and the New Jersey lead is cut back down to just two points. The basket there coming from Leitner. This is why Leitner can be difficult to guard. I mean, he can and will take these mid range shots. Here's Kidd. Against Indiana, he was really on his game. Plenty of space. Again, kid missing. Boy, defense non-existent there. But they catch a break as he whiffs it. Lou passes to Jordan. There's a good screen. Tries it from 19. And Washington again with the bucket. Well, that, that's one way he can finish. But far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks time out, time out. up his sleeve. And the Nets decide to take their first Sorry. time out here. Boy, these are great time for the Lakers, aren't they, Clark? The three-peat Magic Johnson joining the Hall of Fame this summer, but 
James Worthy still waiting since 2000. Yeah, I think it's only a matter of time for James Worthy, but to your earlier point, clearly a banner summer for the Lakers. You think about Magic Johnson, the first ballot surefire Hall of Famer, riding the wave of a three-peat. Couldn't be any better for the Los Angeles Lakers. Here's what Washington's going with right now. Brown comes in for Brendan Haywood. And it's Hughes in for Lou. Williams. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. That's good from Williams. And the Wizards making a change here. Thomas has checked in. And New Jersey also making a switch. Tumbo is checked in for Rodgers. And Williams drops them both. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Brown outside. Here's Jeffries. Kittles grabs the board. The Nets have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Outside, Martin. Pass to Kidd. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Thomas. Thomas got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Hughes against Kidd. Hughes kicks to Brown. Pass to Jordan. Fader on the way. Martin gets the rebound. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. The dish to Kidd. Over Hughes. Washington with the rebound. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Off target with the jump hook. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Kittles passes to Kidd. to the middle. Here's Williams. Lost contact on the shot and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Kid doing a nice job shredding the defense in the pick and roll. His passing instincts platinum level phenomenal. The Nets shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Yeah, last year collectively only 74% from the line. And you know there was plenty of blame to go around for that. I mean it wasn't just one or two guys. I mean for the most part the entire team struggled. Hey, I'm stating the obvious here, but he was very comfortable taking that shot. Not a defender in sight. Outside Williams. Matumbo inside. Thomas is on him. Matumbo misses. Wizards have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Hughes up top. He has yet to score. Stackhouse outside. And the Wizards hit again from deep. Clearly a positive sign. When Stackhouse is knocking down the three ball, the offense really opens up. Kittles passes to Matumba. This is to Jefferson. And taken away by Brown. Oh, and a fast break for the Wizards. One nineteen left in the first half. Hughes with it. Lock at six. Pass to Brown. Here's the three. They get it back. Here's Thomas. Jefferson with some nice D. The Nets have gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. And there's the pass to Kittles. Nets passing it around. Back to Martin. And finished off by Martin. And how about the explosive leaping ability by Martin? A big time dunker who enjoys getting this close to the basket. Here's Hughes. Brown outside. Stackhouse against Martin. Lou. And the three ball is good. 
Lou's got the lead up to three now for Washington. One of the things you like about Lou is that he doesn't force up shots on the perimeter. He takes high percentage looks. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Martin from eight feet away. He drops it in. Six points for Martin. Washington's gone three of four with the long range bombs here in the second quarter. Stackhouse, the pass to Brock. And here is Hughes, the feed to Thomas. Matumbo is a nice D. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Wizards leading by just one. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, you look at Jerry Stackhouse, he's been playing really well. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Now here's Kidd. Outside Jefferson. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Matumbo. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Here's Kittles. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Jordan outside. Stackhouse outside. He had a nice open look right there. Stackhouse has got the first bucket of the third here for the Wizards. Here's Kittle. Still yet to score. Now here's Kidd inside. Here's Martin. And a great assist by Kidd as that one goes in. Look, you've got to foul him hard if you're going to keep Martin from scoring. He's too strong if you don't. Jordan passes to Hughes. Over Kidd. Yes! And the foul. Shot's good. They get Jason Kidd. Yeah, not Shots a good. perfectly Hit. set screen Gene there, Martin. but got him just enough room to get that shot off. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And he hit his foul shots a season ago at about a 74% clip. And Hughes, a very solid player, guys. I mean, an athletic guard who can get hot on occasion. Right side Jefferson. Martin with the screen for Kidd. Good on the three-point shot. Kidd's got 12 in the game. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. And here is Hughes. Passes it to Jordan. Over Kittle. Jordan can't get it to go. Nets have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Pass to Kittles. For the tie, back to Kidd. Now a timeout called by New Jersey. You know, you look at Jerry Stackhouse, he's been playing really well. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number, and he knows it. Here's Kittles. Still without a basket. 
Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Here's Kidd. It's good. This game is all even. Pure bucket getter. Kidd has it all. Washington's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Hughes against Kidd. And the pass to Brown. Outside, Jordan. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, catching the defender there off balance. Jordan with the great strength to convert through contact. Let's see what he can do there at the line. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. You know, the separator with Jordan from other guys is his drive. That's obvious in my mind. He wants to win more than most anybody else out there on the floor. And finished off by Martin. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Well, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game open. Stackhouse against Jefferson. Wizards passing it around. Here's Jordan. Another one falls for Washington. Got to like how Jordan keeps his focus, not allowing the defense to get the better of him deep inside. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. Pass to Kittles. He kicks the kid. Floats one up. Kwame Brown pulls it in. Brown's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Stackhouse, and it goes down two points. Now it's a five-point Wizards lead. Savvy dime by Hughes, not sleeping on that chance to set up another guy. Passes to Kidd. We've got 155 left in the third quarter of the game. Well, you got to admire and appreciate the unselfishness. I mean, Kidd always looking up and looking out for his guys. I mean, excellent at finding the open man. So timeout called here, the first for the Wizards. Washington making some changes. Leitner comes in for a Tom Thomas. And it's Lou in for Michael Jordan. And then for the Nets, Williams comes in for Matumba. And Rogers subbed in for Jason Kidd. And 44 left to play in the third. Lou can't get it to go. Nets trail by three. Down low and taken away by Brown. Here's Lou, defended by Jefferson. Shoots off the step back. Lou, that's good. Lou's got the lead up to five now for the Wizards. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Kittles passes to Martin. 106 left in the third quarter. Pass to Kittles. Shot clock at six. The pass to Rogers. Outside Jefferson. Got a piece of it. And now in transition is Stackhouse. Here we go. Pass to Lou. It's deflected. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. And finished off by Jefferson. Yeah, Jefferson, just great lift on these dunks. Whenever he's near the basket, he is ready to turn one over. Now Hughes. Passes it to Brock. Six to shoot. Stackhouse outside. Out left to the wing. Three-pointer. Rebound by Williams. Here's Kittles. 
No scoring in this one. Pass to Jefferson. Over Lou. That one's good, and the Washington lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Jefferson. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Wizards lead by one. And time for the short break, and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Washington's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Here's Leitner outside Jordan. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. Once Jordan gets inside with the Rockets, practically all over. He's that consistent at close range. Kid gets to Scalabrini. Right here, right here. Now the pass to Williams. He would with the block. And now here's Jordan pushing it up, and no one back there. Nets trail by three. Outside kid, and that one drops. Uh, I understand we're seeing some high powered offense, but you've got to put up a little more resistance than that. Come on now, look. Sit back and enjoy the fireworks. Nothing better than good offense. Here is Haywood. Jason Kidd making his last shot. Jeffries, the pass to Leitner. Five on the clock. That one's not going to go. Nets shooting at 50% in a decent groove. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Here's Kidd. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. For Washington, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Outside, Jordan. to Lou. Over Kid. The Wizards with another miss. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. The layup missed. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Well, we've got liftoff. Jordan showing off that unmatched vertical leap to go up and throw down the alley-oop. Nicely done. Timeout called. The Nets. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Aton Thomas has checked in for Hayward. Brown comes in for Leitner. Stackhouse, he's checked in for Jared Jeffers. And it's Hughes in for Lou. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Byron Scott during the break with his team. You wouldn't know they were down from what he was talking about. He was positive with the team. He was calm. He said he wanted to keep them focused. It's a pretty good approach, guys. Back to you. Thanks, David. Here's Hughes. Kenyon Martin making his last shot. Hughes, the pass to Stackhouse. All sorts of time. Rebounded by the Nets. Martin's got seven rebounds in the game. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Kid against Hughes. Matumbo is screen on Hughes. And it's the Kembe with the jam. What an outstanding play by Matumbo. Showing up for his team with some assertive offense. Hughes kicks to Brown. And a wide open look for Jordan. Here's Thomas. Count the basket and the foul. It's going to be on to Kembe Matumbo. Yeah, coach is pet peeve there no box out those are free points you're giving away you got to work harder on the glass a bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth kicks it to kid
And Jordan sends it back. With defensive prowess and nearly a seven-foot wingspan, it's a lot harder to get a clean look on Jordan than most guys. Hughes with the screen on kill. Here's Jordan. Rebounded by the Nets. 158 left in the fourth quarter. Kittles passes to Kidd. Matumbo with the ball. He dishes it to Jefferson. A three-pointer, no good. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. And here is Hughes. Passes it to Jordan. Over Kittles. And no good. Trying to use the glass. I think in that situation, that was a nice try to create some space for himself with the fadeaway. Here's Jefferson. And Stackhouse pulls it down. The Wizards with the lead. Pass to Hughes. The screen from Brown. Hughes with it. He's picked up by Kidd. Stackhouse. Oh, they get it back. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Timeout time called. Time the Nets. They're trailing by four. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Kittles. It counts. And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, that's a great find by Matumbo. A guy who always seems to make the right play. Jordan outside. And there's the pass to Hughes. Jordan outside. Just four to shoot. Matumbo is a nice deep. Shot and game clock separated by five. Can't afford any wasted possessions down the stretch. The defense needs to be just as sharp, but it's not over yet. Now here's Kidd. Matumbo is screen on Hughes. Hughes with the steal, and they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. No, you got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down the free throws here. Foul right away. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swap that one away. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Hey, anytime the game's on the line, Jordan's exactly the guy I wanted to strike. Clutch, clutch free throws there. That should ensure they're going home with the W. Now a timeout called by New Jersey. They trail by four. Seven seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Kidd. It's in! Boy, Kidd putting the team on his back and getting the clutch bucket himself. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. Timeout called. The Nets. They're trailing by four. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. For three, Kidd off target with that shot. 
And so it's Washington who straight by with the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really.